¿Pero ya están todos avisados? Perfecto. ¿Estás segura que estoy a salvo? Sí, abuelita. Quédate tranquila que todavía estás así. History tells us that an insane Adolf Hitler committed suicide in a bunker in Berlin in 1945 with his wife, Eva. Rumors abounded about a daughter, Uschi, and a son, although there is no hard evidence for their existence. Eva Brown's brother-in-law, SS General Hermann Fegelein, was reported executed after being court-martialed in Berlin at the fall. No sunken U-boats have yet been found off the coast of Argentina. History also tells us that Martin Bormann, known as the Brown Eminence and the man who Hitler said he needed to win the war, died in Berlin trying to escape in 1945 and that his body was found in 1972 and confirmed by German government DNA analysis in 1998. History does not tell us that Adolf Hitler lived in Argentina with his wife Eva and their children, but these people, all of whose testimony is real, swear that it's true. Carmen Torrentugui looked after him his family and friends at the Estancia San Ramon in 1945. Olga Müller and numerous other people saw him and Eva at the Hotel Vienna in Mar Chiquita and elsewhere in Cordoba province in 1946. In 2008 she was told the Gestapo are still active and had her life threatened for talking to us. Catalina Gomero spent weeks in 1948 waiting on him in two properties owned by the Eichhorn family in Cordoba, at La Falda and Pan Azucar. She would take phone calls from him until 1962. Mafalda Batinich saw him for the second time in her life in 1951 at a clinic in Comodora Rivadavia. The first time had been in France in 1940. Hernan Antsin met him in Mar del Plata five times in 1953 when he worked for the Croatian Ustashi monster Ante Pavlic. Pablo Glocknik, a former Graf Spee sailor, was part of his security detail from 1946 to 1962. Dr. Otto Lehmann was his personal physician during the same period. The man who allegedly led Hermann Fegelein's court-martial, SS General Wilhelm Monk, says the last time he saw him he was alive and well. Fegelein's father said he would often call after the war to say he and the Führer were in Argentina and fine. Alicia Oliveira, a senior Buenos Aires lawyer, tells us she has met Hitler's daughter. In 2008, Captain Manuel Monasterio, who recorded Pablo and Dr. Lehman's testimonies, received death threats as a result of our research. Martin Bormann arrived in Argentina in 1948. Pablo saw him at Inalco. Jorge Colotto met him in 1955 when Juan Domingo Perón greeted his long-term friend and paid his hotel bill in Buenos Aires. Araceli Mendez worked for him in Buenos Aires and spent almost three years rebuffing his advances. She kept pictures of him. The Argentine Federal Police kept a file on Bormann much of which was burnt in the 1960s, but documents remain, which we have, and prove he and his lover Alicia Magnus stayed at the Plaza Hotel. At 
at least 30,000 Nazis, Ustashi, Croatia's bloodthirsty animals led by Ante Pavlic, and other European fascists fled to South America after the war. They were helped by the Perons, the Catholic Church, the Red Cross, and KLM under Prince Bernhard of the Netherlands. Adolf Hitler, the worst and most evil criminal of the 20th century, often used the alias Mr. Wolf. The name Adolf comes from the High German for noble wolf. His first mistress called him Wolf, and it was as Herr Wolf that he was introduced to Eva Braun. Hitler's yacht was called the Sea Wolf, and his personal plane the Flying Wolf. His field headquarters in East Prussia, the Ukraine and France all had the word Wolf in the title. And that Hitler escaped to Argentina, and it was there. 17 years after his alleged suicide in Berlin. At 3 p.m. on the 13th of February 1962, tormented, demented, and betrayed, the most evil man of the 20th century finally died. We were lied to.